Hello and welcome to Hure. Now we are going to learn about the writing subtest in occupational English test. Writing in OET. Let's look at the test format. You have a total of 45 minutes to complete your writing. You have 5 minutes to first read the case notes and 40 minutes to write. You can write approximately 180 to 200 words. You need to read the patient's case notes before you begin to write. You have total marks of 500 which are given as grades of A, B, C+, C, D and E. The topics are specific to each profession. Let's look at the strategies for writing the letter. First, you need to read the task and familiarize yourself with the introduction. Look at what sort of letter it is and understand who you're going to write the letter to. Start with who you are in relation to the patient. Spend about 30 seconds looking at the writing task. Understand the relevance. Scan the case notes actively. There is a strategy called POWER strategy. POWER stands for plan, organize, write, edit and review. Identify keywords, phrases and information in the case notes. While making notes, use note form and do not write long sentences. You should complete your letter at least three minutes before the end of the time and spend the last three minutes to review and edit your letter. The letter has to be of a formal tone. You need to use medical terminology wherever relevant, which means when you're writing to another healthcare professional. But avoid using medical terminology when you're writing to lay people. Think about your response. Do not use note form in the letter. You have to write in paragraph format. This is an example of the letter which has been written by a doctor. The format goes like this. You have to maintain left alignment which means every word of every paragraph has to be begin on the left margin. You have to begin with the address, then the date below it, after which comes the salutation where you or greetings where you say dear Dr. Roberts or dear so and so, dear madam slash sir. Then below that you write the reference with the patient's name and the date of birth. Then leave a line space between each of these and then you come to the first paragraph of the body of the letter. In the first paragraph, you need to clearly state the purpose of the letter. In the second paragraph, you can give a brief introduction about the patient, his or her medical condition and treatment. In the third paragraph, you can give the past medical history and or the social background of the patient. In the fourth paragraph, you can give the current condition and what treatment is being administered to the patient. In the fifth paragraph, you can give the discharge plan or if you're referring the patient or transferring the patient to a different healthcare setup, you can refer to them in this paragraph. Then you give a conclusion as a one-liner. Leave a line space again and end with yours sincerely as the signature line. Leave a line space and give the designation of the healthcare professional, whether it be doctor or head nurse or pharmacist, etc. The name is optional, but the designation is mandatory. Ensure that you leave line spaces between paragraphs and maintain left alignment throughout the letter. Let's look at the criteria and scoring. You totally have 38 marks for the writing. It is divided like this. 
for the purpose which is in the first paragraph you score three marks if you write accurately what and how you understand the purpose then you have seven marks for clarity and conciseness where you have to present your ideas and your points then you have seven marks for the organization and layout which is the format of the letter you also have seven marks for the content which covers the relevance and necessary case notes you have seven marks also for genre and style which covers the tone and usage of medical jargon depending on what kind of letter you are writing then you have the last seven marks for language skills which cover grammar spellings vocabulary and punctuation With this, we come to the end of the writing subject in OET. Thank you and wish you all the best.